Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I want to talk to you about red dot sites and their portrayal in video games. A lot of video games don't take advantage of some of the best benefits they offer shooters in real life, and I think this is something that could easily be fixed. Now for the sake of consistency, I'd like to focus on the EOTech site. It's a very popular site and it's been in virtually all tactical shooters, so it's very easy to make comparisons between video games and even real life. Now video games do actually portray a lot of the real world benefits that red dot sites provide. For example, a floating targeting reticle in the center. You don't have to have a reticle attached to an iron sight housing below it. So it gives you a nice, clear optic picture. The red dot is also high in contrast, so it makes it easier for you to target things in dark environments where iron sights might otherwise fail. And you can also get creative with the type of reticle you have. It doesn't have to be a singular red dot. It could have a circle around it like the EOTech. You could even have an additional dot in there for distance markers. These benefits alone clearly make the red dot sight superior to iron iron sights in most video games. However, one of the biggest benefits that the red dot sight provides in real life is not portrayed in video games, and that's simply because video games are rendered on a 2D surface. You have a monitor. Despite the video game world being 3D, you're not seeing it in true stereoscopic vision unless you're playing a virtual reality shooter where each eye is seeing a different image. One of the biggest benefits of having a red dot sight in real life is the fact that you can aim with both eyes open. The high contrast of the red dot makes it to appear floating in front of you and having both eyes open allows you to see past the optic housing. So the optic isn't really obstructing your vision for the most part. Now to truly understand the benefit of two eye open aiming, you have to try it out in real life, but I'm gonna try and simulate or rather illustrate it here for you. I have an actual EOTech site here with a camera mounted behind it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the basically focal point here so that we're looking past the optic. Now because the lens is fairly wide on this camera, I can almost completely remove the EOTech housing from this image altogether, which is very similar to the effect you would have with two eye open aiming. All of a sudden, the massive housing around the EOTech site becomes far less of an issue, and I can see that red dot perfectly, and I can see my targets perfectly, and it's just not obstructing my vision. The reason why a lot of high quality red dot and holographic sites have big housing is because they're designed to hold up under the stresses of military combat. Explosions going off, dropping the weapons from high heights, they basically have to protect the optics, so you need a lot of metal around them to make them safe. So what can we do to try and simulate this current effect in video games so that optic housing in games isn't pretty much the only deciding factor of whether or not you're using a red dot sight? Well, I decided to play around in Photoshop and try and create a similar effect to that two eye open aiming effect that you'll get in real life, and I've done some overlays in Battlefield to illustrate what I've achieved. I first decided to just throw a bit of transparency on the optic itself so we could kind of see through it so the housing wouldn't have been such an issue. This didn't really have the effect I was looking for, it kind of looks like a ghost sight. I then decided to put a lens blur effect on the image itself and take away the transparency. This definitely simulated the blurriness I see in real life, but I think we need to add the transparency in as well. Personally, I think this illustrates the effect pretty darn well, but it's a little too blurry to be aesthetically pleasing. It's still got to look attractive to the video game audience. This image looks a little bit more marketable, however, it's just a little too transparent transparent towards the bottom of the site, so I'm going to add in a little bit of a gradient there. I still think the size of the housing would be considered too much of a detriment on this site, so I'm going to increase the opacity overall and see what that looks like. This is really only a 10% opacity effect on the top of the site, and I think it looks just fine. It's still marketable, and you're not really worried about the housing size of the site anymore. You're more concerned with what kind of targeting reticle it has towards the center of the optic. So really, this whole effect can be achieved by adding an opacity mask to the optic layer in-game, and you can even just add a little bit more blur to that. Battlefield 4 is already adding a blur layer to the optics when you aim down sight, so I don't imagine this would be a complicated addition to the video game. Anyway, it's just an idea I had. I'm tired of seeing some of the crappier real-life sites doing really well in video games simply because they have minimal housing. I would love housing to become far less of an issue in video games and perhaps focusing more on the reticle type and other benefits. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear the opinions of people who use red dot sites in real life and if it's something that you would like to see portrayed in video games as well. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.